let's start sir is it okay yeah sure okay so now i welcome all the participants again to the last session of uh, day 2 so today we are uh, having uh, professor satender kumar sharma from iit mandi he will be talking about next generation resist technology for semiconductor fab line dr satender received msc degree in physics with a with specialization in uh, electronic sciences from himachal pradesh university in 2002 then he received a phd from kurukshetra university and uh, his research work was on the silicon based gate dielectric materials for vlsi technology he has worked as post doctoral fellow at iit kanpur he was the faculty member of electronics and microelectronics division at triple iit alawar from 2010 to 2012 currently he is working as an associate professor with school of computing and electrical engineering at iit mandi his research interests include microelectronic circuits and systems cmos devices fabrication and their characterizations plus polymer nano composite sensor photovoltaic and self assemblies i am happy to share that uh, dr satinder has recently established very big facility that is basically for center for design and fabrication of electronic devices so it is a class 100 uh, clean room and uh, uh, it it is now fully functional and uh, to his credit he is having more than 90 papers in uh, reputed journals he has published uh, uh, he has filed many applications for patents as well related to uh, i think uh, this uh, photo resist ebim resist etc plus he has been the pi for uh, various projects funded by dst isro drdo etc so now with this uh, brief intro i request you dr satinder ji to please share your uh, talk with us on resist technology over to you sir okay thank you professor anush singh and uh, other coordinator uh, dr manish shuda so thank you for my brief bio sketch to introduce me with the participants so good afternoon all of you myself sindhir sharma uh, working as associate professor at uh, iit mandi and i am also coordinator for uh, center which is dedicated for the center for design and fabrication of electronic devices established in iit mandi that is state of the art facility for uh, research so today i will deliver my talk on uh, next generation resist technology for semiconductor fab line so in this uh, faculty development program on nanotechnology and electronic devices organized by uh, punjab engineering college chandigarh department of electronics and communication so this is the brief outline of my presentation so i will uh, give a little bit uh, introduction about the center which is uh, equipped with the high end uh, facility for device fabrications and design uh, with the high end uh, tool set then i will going to talk about semiconductor technology advancement uh, then after that i will uh, switch to um, the next generation lithography road map which is uh, one of the key parameter for advancement of technology and uh, in uh, next i will talk about the next generation gist techniques uh, and uh, gist technology road map for high volume chip manufacturing finally i will uh, come uh, will discuss about euv gist which is the potential for uh, sub 20 nanometer or 10 nanometer technology node transistors or technology for uh, semiconductor industry Uh, which is be developed in iit mandi and then summarize my talk so this is the first slide where i am going to talk about uh, give us some uh, uh, brief uh, introduction about the center facility which is uh, equipped with the very high end uh, instrumentations uh, in iit mandi for r and d purpose this is uh, basically institute facility for iit mandi as well as the other institutes or other organizations as well as any industry Uh, whatsoever they want to be so the name is a center for design and fabrications 
for electronic devices. So here uh, basically main uh, focus is from the design to technology. So we'll uh, do the design and then uh, then we do the some uh, hand on on uh, prototyping also. So we work on the various domains, device logic, uh, memory devices, 2D systems, uh, MAMS, uh, uh, and uh, then uh, register development. So that is I'm going to basically going to talk to about uh, uh, today and uh, as well as sensor and this is not limited to this. So this is a uh, facility is open and it anybody can be used. So this is the little one small uh, video clip for as introductory for this about this center. Thank you for your attention. So now I will going to switch my talk. So uh, as you know that this is a previous uh, small clip for about the what facilities we have in here for the device fabrications and uh, characterizations. And uh, we have from design to technology, uh, all are in the operational stage from last couple of years. So today I'm going to talk about uh, semiconductor technology uh, and one of that major focused area is i am going to talk about the register development in iit mandi uh, so that is one of the major uh, parameter uh, for the uh, advancement of the semiconductor technology so here you can be see that uh, this is my introductory talk uh, slide here you can be see that the semiconductor industry is approaching 300 billion per year in sales so semiconductor industries uh, play the very vital role in all uh, walks of human life so if you uh, we are day uh, day to day life we are using the computer laptop uh, communications consumer electronics various gadget video games transportations medical health industry also uh, they are and uh, next to that the military that is also so all the sector is untouchable without the participation of uh, semiconductor technology so it will show that semiconductor will play a very important role in all sectors uh, from communication to the strategic sector sectors uh, for uh, uh, these days so how this semiconductor technology progress so ic technology advancement is basically related to the miniaturization of transistors so that you are much aware about that so improvement of ic performance and cost effectiveness have been enabled the study miniaturization of scaling of the transistor so how this basically this advancement enabled in the semiconductor technology so it is enabled due to the scaling of the transistor because scaling of transistor result the high performance and as well as the reduced cost and uh, that is going to be result the market growth because in that way the more multiple functional uh, appliances available for the market and uh, but the market is looking for the more better than that so they are due to that reason they are uh, uh, then the, this demand reached to the again foundry and foundry work again uh, to fabricate more transistors with the smaller in size so this complete cycle is basically uh, this uh, uh, cycle result this complete flow of uh, semiconductor to the investment as well as uh, uh, to, to uh, its application to the society. So, uh, so now you will get 
get the idea ki okay so this uh, what is the uh, force behind this uh, success of this simulator technology scaling of transistor so means we are going to be going to fabricate as a layman we are going to fabricate smaller smaller transistor and uh, that transistor is uh, long back it is invented and same transistor we are using the same number of terminal we are using uh, till uh, date only we are going to miniaturize that we are going to be scale down that so for that miniaturization device feature size versus uh, uh, with the silicon chip so you can be see that uh, 2020 we are talking about uh, 18 nanometer transistors and uh, below uh, now uh, after 2020 we are talking about the below 10 nanometer transistor so means you are going to be reduce the feature size you are going to reduce your uh, and the horizontally you are going to be reduce the length of your transistor dimension of transistor so in the here you can be see that the most transistor which is uh, ahead than the bjt okay from the long back it is uh, then it is this uh, uh, lies by the um, scientific community and then uh, it is taken over by the most transistor this complete similar technology so this uh, three terminal tri transistor is source gate and drain so today also we using the same transistor same source gate and drain but with a smaller feature size so what is the advantage of that because of that we are getting the better performance and at the same time we are able to fabricate the more number of transistor and the cost is going to decrease uh, drastically so now we are so this means keep uh, from if you see from uh, uh, previous slide from here you can be see that transistor miniaturization of the transistor size versus its evolution per year so it is clearly depicted from here ki transistor size is going to be slow down going to be uh, going to be reduced with the every successive years so it's mean that this now we are talking a 10 nano transistor one time when we are talking the 180 nano transistor or we are going to talk about 350 nano transistor now we are talking the 10 nano transistor so you should be amazed in that ki how much reduction in the feature size of transistor so it mean that so this technology is sporting to the market and fab is sporting to do advancement of a transistor to the scaling so this will be continue next couple of years or next couple of decades so this according to the, because this uh, basically technology which is governed by fully by the uh, consumer or end user because the, if it is should be meet the expectation of the user as well as it should be more functionality should be there and top of that the cost should be within the reach of the consumer because it may be that there is a noble idea is there there is a more uh, novelty in the your uh, design or your prototyping or devices your uh, but if it is cost is not within your budget then it is going to completely discard from the market so that is another factor which is always uh, uh, looking when we are going to talk about success of any technology so from previous uh, uh, slide or from here you can be uh, take home that this shrinkage will continue the feature which is uh, feature size shrinkage which is going from the last couple of decades it will continue will next couple of decades as such because that is a uh, demand from the industry or that is demand from the society and industry is uh, um, meeting that demand so here you can be see that logic we are talking about the nowadays on the 7 10 nanometer 7 nanometer 5 nanometer and uh, then the 3 nanometer 2 nanometer also so it is going to approach the 1 nanometer 0 b 0 nanometer one day if the this and this is going this is working fine so due to that reason if it is either it should be stopped working as per the expectation then this is this shrinking going to stop there but this is not a case it is working fine it is uh, even uh, we don't have the enough semiconductor physics to support this mechanism fundamental mechanism which is governed by in this domain so but the technology as well as our uh, transistor working well as per our requirements due to that is in this 
uh, shrinkage is going on and it is continue. We hope it will going to be continue another five to ten, five to six decades as such. So in the logic, we are talking about the ten nanometer below that, as from perceived clearly from this uh, slide. Storage two x planar three D NAND sixty four x like that. So these are the things which is uh, uh, give the indication. Okay, uh, it is plenty of room to work uh, in this domain, and uh, it is working fine as per the our expectation. It is going to discard completely from the technology if it is not meeting the expectation. So, in the below slide, you can be see that ki how this journey we started and what is the evolution behind that. So, if you are going to see in the 1990s, we are talking about the 350 nanometer transistors and wavelength is also around 365 nanometer we are using to pattern that. So that is a correlation between your requirement. So we are fabricating a transistor through the wave light. That is a plays a very important role for uh, realization of any transistor. So that wavelength is 365 and we are getting the 350 nanometer transistor in 90s. Nowadays when we are talking about a 10 nanometer transistor. So then we are looking some because this there's no alternate we don't have the source which is going to be 10 nanometer level to fabricate the transistor because this technology is driven by the light in addition another factor it is light is also plays a very important role for advancement of this technology so here you can be see that uh, we are and we are going to talk about the sub 10 nanotechnology node so till now we are uh, able to be fabricate with the some innovations like uh, immersion lithography. Okay, that is also a lot of advancement there, lot of multiple patternings there, we follow that. So this is the complete journey where you can be see that from the 90s, 90s, 2000, 2000, late, we are able to be up to the 65 and then the 28 nanometer transistor. Now we are talking about the, this era is around up. Seven nanometer, or we can be spell it out like a sub 10 nanotechnology node. So, mean we have to be so. What is actually my message from this slide? Key this advancement of this transistor or scaling of the transistor, scaling of the feature size of transistor is governed by the production of the wavelength of the light. So, we have reduced the wavelength of light from 365 to 193 nanometer. So, 193 nanometer is a very complex technology. So, due to that reason, we want to be get rid of that. But the, this is the journey. So, when we are going to talk about 10 nanotransistor, so means we have to reduce the wavelength around that nanometer. So, that is from the beginning and today also true in the same way. So, this is the basically international technology roadmap, semiconductor roadmap requirement. So 2000, we are to 2012, we are talking about 20 nanometer pitch. And uh, then we are talking about the 18 nanometer, 17 nanometer, 2016. Now we are talking 2021, we are talking about uh, 9 nanometer pitch. Okay. So, and similarly for another stuff also, holes, wires, LWR, line width roughness to pattern these transistors to be, uh, which is required for the below 10 nanotechnology node defect that is another main important parameter because when we are going to be go the smaller uh, feature size then defect is also should be minimum okay that is a play the very important role because if defect is larger in than feature size then it is not circuit is not going to work overlay minimum cd so those are the five parameters but here is most important parameter we are going to talk about that is its pitch. So it is also now approached from this table. It's clearly visible. It is approached to the single digit with this advancement and our requirement to smaller transistors or smaller technology, fast, uh, high performance technology. So it is also reached in the single digit in these days. So now I'm going to talk about what is the basically pitch. So pitch is like shown here in the, in the year we are talking about the half pitch 90 nanometer 45 nanometer which is much familiar you are 
people okay, we are talking about 45 nanometer technology mostly the transistor we are using these days in our uh, daily life mostly advanced for mobiles as well as other gadgets so those are those, those are basically uh, with the this uh, 45 nanometer technology node so then we are talking about the 20 20 32 nanometer half pitch 22 nanometer half pitch and then we have the 6 nanometer half pitch so here we are going to talk about what is the meaning of pitch pitch basically in the beginning of the first line to the beginning of the second line so this becomes a full pitch so when we are going to half pitch in the between that same line width and same is a space so we are talking about a 45 nanometer half pitch so means our transistor should be in the same 45 nanometer and gap is also should be same so w y l or l by s length line by space should be in the one so that is the meaning of pitch and that is in the previous slide it is clearly key how this pitch is uh, day by day is uh, reduced is the requirement is reduced because we want to fabricate the dense transistor and uh, for dense transistor uh, we have to be scaled down the uh, feature size of transistor dense circuit so that is for the uh, accommodate more number of transistor so here is a so now you can be uh, get the idea this uh, smaller is always better so from this uh, uh, from this discussion it is clear ki as we are going to reduce the scale down the feature size of a transistor so that is uh, benefiting to the performance of our uh, electronic circuits so due to that reason this is the better for us so uh, there is a various initiative in there in this direction so 45 nanometer technology which come with the high k material gate in 2007 and uh, you have some of the people are familiar with this atom processor as there which is not that much acceptable with the many other technical issues so then after that uh, intel launched that dual core intel pentium intel core i7 i5 i3 processor so some of them all of you have used in your uh, last couple of years for uh, one or other applications. So then there's a genome processor is was also. So all are basically fabricated in the 45 nanometer technology node. And it means it is a basically transistor size of gate length is a 45 nanometer technology node. Then after that, we switch to the 32 nanometer technology node, which is again with the high K and metal gate with the, some innovation in the dielectric gate length. So, because of this reduction of the gate length or move towards the 30, 32 nanometer technology node from 45 nanometer, give the 22% gain in terms of a drive current. So, that is the one of the attractive attraction to move that. So, now you should be understanding we are talking about when we are going to reduce the feature size, we are going to be get more gain in terms of its functionality, in terms of drive current in technical terms. So that is our always uh, intention. So then the, there is a lot of other uh, initiative in this time, in this uh, way. So Intel started, other uh, TSMC and other companies also started the uh, similar to kind of the exercise. So now 22 nanometer with the world's first 3D transistor is also there in the logic in 2011. So this complete journey is uh, going from the last uh, uh, one decade, more than one decade in the various way. And now we reached, uh, we are looking for the below 10 transistor and uh, for that is the only one uh, hour. So now you can we see from here. So every technology generations, we have uh, uh, trying to be scaled down its feature size means we are trying to be reduce, reduce its uh, isolated lines in a gist. So when we are going to talk to in uh, earlier 90 nanometer technology node half pitch. So then this 40 isolated line of 45 nanometer we are using. So it is after that physical gate length is 37 nanometer. So similarly 65 we are talking 25 nanometers. 45 nanometer technology we have, I, this length is around 18 nanometer. And so on. When we are going to talk about the 22 nanometer technology, or the it will become the 30. So in that way, what is it? What is the gain on top of that? So means we are getting the high clocking frequency. We are going to 
we transfer the data much faster. Our information from one end to another end going to be reached much faster. So that is always desired because if you are streaming your uh, videos or your informations from other end, that should be reach you as fast as possible. So, so you can we see that what is our actual motivation? So you can we see from here the frequency is going to be increased with respect to the production of the feature size technology node. Or in other words, we are going to be get the more storage memories. So in the uh, DRAM, you can be see keep how it is improve, improving. It is become the 1.1 giga to 34 giga. Right. So that is a per chip. So we are talking about this is this uh, quantification for the per chip. But in your chip, there's a millions of the transistors are there. Okay. So in your complete circuit, millions of the such of the chips are integrated. So then you are get the complete information. So it means that you are going to be get them better and we are going to be reduce the feature size or better. Smaller is better for us. Especially from this simulator technology, it is proven that smaller is better for us. So due to that reason, we are trying to be fabulous smaller and smaller transistors. And uh, hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, thank yes. you. Yes. So, this is basically. So, what is other than that? You can we see the wafer size. So this wafer size with the reduction of the feature size going to be increase. Also, so now we are going to talk to 200, 300 mm wafer, 8 inch, 12 inch fab. So, because larger wafer, we are able to fabricate the more transistors there because this is a planar technology. So, what is the force behind this to this driver driving uh, this uh, uh, this technology is basically one of the most important technology that is a lithography. So, when we are going to talk to about technology node, so means technology node is uh, other words uh, representing to the advancement of the lithography. So, here you can be see that uh what we are using uh, 2009 or 10 what are the we have uh, more pro potential techniques and what we are looking for the next generation or what we are looking for the future so here we can be the multiple technologies are there 193 is a most promising which is uh give us which is provided to the uh, industry 45 non technology node then there is some resolution enhancement, advancement in that 193 immersion technology, and that gives the 32 nanometer technology node. And till now, also, we are uh, much dependence on this immersion lithography. It is complex technology, but there is no other alternate or competitor till now ready to be used for uh, this. Um, uh, technology or for this uh, high performance uh, transistors or circuits. So then we again we are doing some uh, manipulation or modification in our 193 immersion technology and that is uh, proving their potential to be go down uh, 128 nanometer till now also. But successfully it is also de de demonstrated successfully 28 nanometer till now. So you can be see that its wavelength. So in the previous discussion it is clear when we are going to be reduced talked about uh, uh, smaller technology node or high resolution transistors so smaller technology with respect to the reduction of the wavelength of the light so when we are going to talk to 28 nanometer technology node the wavelength should also be in the same range closer to that but because of our better instrumentation as well as our more betterment in the physics understanding we are able to be manipulated that 193 nanometer up to the 28 nanometer patterning. So now you can be understand it, why this uh, lithography plays a very important role. So here in uh, left hand side, you can be see that uh, uh, IC chip fab process flow. So here we start with the vapor, then we do the thermal processing, then we do the ion implantations, then etching, then uh, the electric depositions, 
chemical mechanical polishing metallizations then after that but all these pathway passing multiple times the photolithography block so means ki all are basically dependency on the photolithography so once the transistor is fabricated then we are doing its testing packaging and final test so this journey will start from the ic design mask making again mask making is a little to the photolithography so from here it is clear evident that this photolithography plays a very important role for the advancement of the our technology and uh, in the right hand side you can be see that uh, lithography stack so what are we are what are we using so we are using a silicon paper we are coating the layer on the for patterning which is a desired layer which we want to pattern then we are using the photoresist which is licensed material and uh, then uh, we are going to be use the mask with the help of the light that is going to change the chemistry of that photoresist and uh, in that way we are going to get the positive or negative as per the nature of this uh, photoresist and then pattern transfer on our desirable uh, film and in that way this just this is like a patterning technology and this is responsible for the advancement of our transistors this is responsible for the high performance uh, your electronics circuits uh, so all of them is big because you will be governed by this lithography so the basic steps is also listed here in the bottom of this slide so we have a source or drain this uh, poly polysilicon photoresist we are coating on top of that we are using the mask and then we are patterning the gate so in that way uh, we are uh, patterning the gate on our complete uh, transistor so this is more uh, details about the this uh, photolithography process so now you can be get better idea about that so we have the substrate we are uh, spin coating photoresist because these are the basically photoresist are the light sensitive material as i told you earlier just now and uh, because of uh, that it is possible to spin spin coat and uh, these are basically solvent so we are do the soft baking remove the solvent from top of that and then we use the light which is a play a very important role because uh, this light and the mask so that is this mask is going to pattern on your this uh, photosensitive material or this layer and then uh, after that uh, it is going to be develop post exposure baking then uh, develop it and then finally uh, rinse with the water and uh, or some other uh, compatible solvent and then hard baking in that way your pattern is completely mask pattern is completely transferred on your photoresist and this process will uh, going to follow multiple uh, steps so whenever we are going to talk about complete uh, ic fabrication process again again the same process is going to follow for the realization of the final transistors so here is uh, basically again little bit more idea about that ki what is the negative and positive so we are going to use the substrate and uh, then photoresist on top of that so mask which is a uh, hard mask which is going to be transfer on our photoresist and ultimately it is going to be transfer on our desirable film layer here uh, which is uh, underneath of our photoresist so that is on the pattern transfer so positive and negative is depend upon ke if your um, exposed part is going to retain there then it is going to be considered as a negative it is are going to be uh, come out from there it is a positive but it depend upon ki which what is your selection of your material with respect to your exposure as well as the mask so now these are the just a few basic stuff uh, ki how this photolithography will play, what is the importance of that and uh, you realize the, these are play the very important role for the uh, your electronics so logic dram your uh, pen drives flash memories are there so here you can be see that the various uh, technologies which is uh, uh, compatible they have the full competency to pattern the smaller transistors the processing step for the 22 nanometer patterning alternatives so how we can be pattern the 22 nanometer transistors which is uh, advanced transistors which is uh, next generation transistors nowadays it is below 10 nanometer but uh, okay this is also not that much too late so if you see from here in the light uh, left hand side we have the increasing the cost per cycle time and uh, in bottom is for fabrication of the various uh, uh, 
devices and this is basically uh, bulk production estimation so if you are going to talk to about uh, in terms of the double exposure so double exposure will play the very important role uh, uh, for logic as well as the another technology which is uh, double exposure you are going to be expose your uh, desirable patterns with the multiple uh, double times and uh, then another is a litho etch litho etch that is a LEL it is also much popular so you are going to be uh, do the lithography then again the net again that this is a rep sequentially basically sequential type of the system successive uh, system so you have to do this multiple times then uh, litho freeze litho free etch that is also these days popular and uh, industries because every industry has their own uh, way of the working so they have their own protocols in the fab line and uh, but these are the potential then uh, space double patterning so that is also popular there but if you see from this so that is in the if you see in the uh, right hand side this is a in uh, by x uh, by axis is an increasing cost and cycle time so you see this all are these columns are increasing the cost but in the end which is euv there is a cost is very less and uh, therefore it is so popular these days even this immersion lithography which is there uh, which is uh, these days uh, using comfortably for patterning realization of the 22 nanometer technology node even below that also it is no doubt about that um, but the cost is more so as i spell it out earlier in the beginning because this semiconductor technology is driven by the this cost matching if your technology is not within the budget of the end user then it is going to completely discard from the market so here you can be see that in uv you can be see this column is very height is very small so it's mean that its cost is very less as compared to other so now you get this idea ki what is the technology and uh, how it is moving faster so lithography technology node descent trend is in the uv so now most important uh, one of the component is photoresist in this lithography and this is basically reaching 1.5 billion uh, uh, per, uh, per dollar photoresist market more because there is a various type of photoresist used in the industry so that is a different cost most common is around 1.5 billion photo market is there and so that wavelength that photoresist market is going to be patterned through the light so means when we are going to talk to about uh, smaller wavelength of the light that requires the specialized resist which is compatible with that, that light so if you are going to see in the there's a general relay equations where you can be see that resolution resolution when we are going to talk about the higher resolution so that means that uh, we are going to talk to the smaller feature size so here you can be see that this resolution higher resolution means of smaller feature size fabrication is related to the k lambda and n is a numerical aperture so in principle according to this if we are going to make up infinite optics we are going to be able to be uh, going to get the smallest transistor but that is not a true because you are going to be compromise the depth of the focus then the next is what other option from this relation it clearly show that you can be decrease the k so k is basically material parameter so that is already people have worked on that as my text sense only there is a one next possibility to go for the high resolution means the smaller feature size reduction of the wavelength so you can reduce the feature wavelength you are going to get the better you higher resolution or smaller transistors so what are the options you can be in the left hand side bottom it is mention ki this 193 nanometer immersion lithography that i just talked about that which is uh, still popular but the because of its complexity it is basically a little bit hesitation for bulk production uh, for so frequent by the industry people 
otherwise it is potential it is using with the with the this complexity uh, so it is uh, giving the transistor successfully till now industry demonstrated prototyping as well as the some bulk production also some much trend 65 nanometer transistor 429 transistor 32 nanometer even 22 nanometer transistor also with this double patterning and some other uh, resolution enhancement technique modifications then what is the next to that because this is need to be more uh, this is very complex technique this 193 mm immersion so therefore there is a, some reservation from the industry to use it so next option is a uv which is 13.5 nanometer so that is capable to be give the 6 nanometer transistor 10 nanometer 5 nanometer transistor so but this uv stepper which is the lithography technique which is not accessible for the rest of the world it is only accessible with the gent of this industry like uh, samsung intel tsmc or such type the which is working very very high end technology node so these are the restrictions to be if somebody want to be uh, work in this field which is highly promising field which is highly demanding field so then uh, there is a, another prototyping technique which is not exactly same in principally which is a uh, uv but it is some extent it is good match it is a closer match with the this uh, uh, next generation technology which a huge market is there there is no doubt about that so these are the one a double exposure lithography that i talked to you. immersion lithography that is uh, we have the, i just explain in details what is this then uh, extreme ultraviolet that is we are talking it is going to be uh, promising for uh, below 10 nanometer below 10 nanotechnology node there is another technique electron beam which is you are much familiar with that ion beam lithography which is also popular all of them have their advantage and disadvantage but only this uv has advantage because that is similar as our conventional uh, lithography except that source and mass which is very very uh, differ with our conventional understanding otherwise in principle these are the similar uh, both as uh, our optical lithography which is uh, till date is a leader to drive our technology and then is a nano imprint lithography NIL and related nano fabrication techniques so, so you are much familiar with that so those are uh, like a self assembly okay blah, type stuff so those are uh, very very much attractive but same time that is required more optimizations more because those are not repeatable in the larger area and this technology semiconductor technology is going to be considered as in realistic usefulness when it is going to more repeatability in the larger area because we have to be cater the large community large market which is available for this so now i am going to talk about this uh, this immersion lithography so that is uh, basically uh, like a uh, our uh, this conventional lithography basically optics but here we are using some special uh, so earlier we are using the water and after that we are using the some other liquid so in that way this this uh, uh, passing of the light from optics to your wafer level going to be bent towards your normal so when you know that when the light is passing from the rare to denser medium, so then the light is going to be bent towards the normal. So in this way, this is the innovation here, but in the same time, the people have a hesitation because they are using the some liquid uh, in the just uh, next to your uh, wafer or your uh, circuits um, for this patterning. In addition to that, this is a very complex uh, system to be because wavelength of light source you are using is a 193 because there's no other other options are there recently maximum advancement in this technology and we are able to be generated the source of 153 nanometer but not less than that till now even that these advancement we are able to fabricate 28 nanometer 
transistor with this technology. But because of its multiple patterning or multiple uh, complex uh, instrumentations, so there is always a hesitation to form the industry. But this is only a tool which is uh, has potential, which is uh, used by the and that is uh, because it is in line with our conventional understanding of uh, optical lithography, even it's a more complex instrumentation point of view. So therefore, uh, industry is accepting this, this concept and it is a uh, working well and it is delivered also the 28 nanometer transistor successfully till date. Below that also, it is uh, some prototyping was there and that is also with the help of this. So here you can be see that various uh, argon fluoride dried, fluoride dried, uh, laser source of the light lasers are there. So medium, what medium they are using the air numerical uh, purchase this uh, n value is one. Then they increase the uh, this n value because that is going to be bend your light towards the more towards the normal. So they using this uh, water that refractive index is the uh, 1.44. Then they have used this uh, PFP. Then this become the 1.37. So these are the things which is uh, bulked out, and uh, in that we are getting some. Uh, advantage of top of this because there is no other than this options. So therefore, uh, uh, the resolution enhancement from immersion lithography is there for about 30 to 40 percent or about uh, one technology node. The depth of the focus is 40 to 70 percent better. So due to that reason, uh, this is uh, accepted by the industry and it is used. So here you can be see that uh, immersion 1.35 nanometer uh, uh, and numerical aperture scalable to 38 nanometer. So because of this, we are able to be get the 38 nanometer transistors and uh, these are the patterning results. And uh, here you can be see that 45 nanometers and 30, 38 nanometers are bell patterns. And uh, due to that reason, it is uh, accepted by the industry and uh, till date it is a uh, popular and it is uh, uh, even there is uh, some reservation to use it because of its complex nature. And the cost is very, very high. You can be see that uh, column of the cost increase in the cost. So, but uh, there is no alternative. So therefore the complete dependency on this. So in addition to that, uh, there is a, another problems with that. Why it is completely uh, no agreement to be used it so frequently. So one is a gist, top coat, fluid, scan parameters, developers, and uh, these are the things which is a uh, question mark is relevance of this use for the bulk production so frequently, but uh, some extent it is using by the industry and uh, because there's a liquid is used there. So it is sometimes for the bubble in your uh, that optics and that is uh, changing your focus. So such type of some fundamental issues are there which need to be addressed. But at the same time, so it is very complex and as well as the very costly. So here you can be see that uh, this uh, litho cost per layer, so 32 nanometer to 22 nanometer technology node. And uh, if we are going to talk to about 193, which is shown here in the left hand side, uh, here you can be see that 22 nanometer uh, with the spacer. 20 nanometer with the litho. Uh, so that is have the very large uh, cost. But if you see from the EUV, which is not successful till now, but it is a lot of effort is going in this direction and it is uh, assumed, it is not assumed, but it is a well established um, conceptually or as well as understanding is well clear understanding. So this EUV is going to be really beneficial as compared to other competitor. So you can be see that uh, even 22 nanometer technology node, it is very, very cost is very less uh, as compared to the this 193. So litho critical layer cost buffer is also going to be reduced. So here you can be see that in case of NAND, DRAM, logic. So when we are going to talk to talk the EUV, it is much, it is 30% less. Okay, litho, uh, double patterning, is higher than that. Spacer double patterning is much, much higher than that. So it is a logical also higher. It is DRAM also higher. It is a NAND also higher. So from here it is clear 
कि ओनली ऑप्शन फॉर बल्क प्रोडक्शन और फॉर द लो कॉस्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स हाई लेवल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स दैट इज ऑलवेज हाई परफॉर्मेंस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इज ओनली ऑप्शन इज अवी सो वेन यूवी इज गोइंग टू बी सक्सेसफुल दैट डे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगेट द स्मॉलेस्ट ट्रांजिस्टर इन फॉर द लोअर कॉस्ट स्मॉलेस्ट ट्रांजिस्टर विद हाई परफॉर्मेंस so this is tells you about the uv stepper so how it is working basically from uh, last couple of years so these are the not a complete stepper because complete stepper is uh, uh, too much costly and very large in size it is uh, like uh, two football grounds you one lithography stepper is going to be accommodate and uh, its uh, cost is also very high so it is around 1000 crore for the one stepper but this is the r and d level uh, source for the some do some r and d on the uv based so here you can be see that uh, it is capable to be pattern the below 10 nanometer transistor and its wavelength is a 13.5 nanometer so due to that reason as i uh, spoken about this uh, this uh, wavelength is corresponding to the uh, gate length of your ultimate technology node which you are targeting so this is basically it's a laser how this will work so it will uh, uh, uv going to generate from the source then we have the mask and then the uh, line pattern is going to be pattern on the gist that is your transistors and uh, this is basically a tool which is available in the lorish berkeley we are also using this for our work from last couple of years so how this ray of uh, light will work so here is the most important it is a mask so which is not conventional mask uh, as we talked about our conventional lithography these are the basically mirror multi layer mirrors which is coated with the multi layer films molybdenum silicon tungsten uh, combinations so this be it work in the principle of its uh, reflection so where it is going to absorb the light where you want to transfer the patterns or where it is going to be uh, uh, reflect the light so this is about the uv mask which is uh, as i am told you this my purpose to be show this because it is completely differ as well as in principle or as well as its understanding it's known as the mask but ultimately these are not a mask these are the mirrors which is going to either absorb or either reflect the, your uh, incident light so here is a most important the multi layer uh, uh, mirrors so here you can be see that multiple uh, the layers are deposited and then inspected and then uh, it is looks like a pattern is there and uh, then uh, if it is not uh, absorbing your desirable wavelength then it is going to discard and uh, so most important for this ki there is a defect on the mask which is uh, similar to the your conventional uh, mask also in conventional also some defects so we are going to repair those defects so similar here also because these are not a mask these are not a like a, that mask which is we are using in conventional lithography like opening a window and then opaque and some there is a uh, transparent like that so here is basically mirror which is like your mirror your glass mirror so here it is going multiple layers either going to be absorb or either going to reflect your incident light and uh, therefore it is going to work known as the mask because it do the same thing as the uh, conventional mask so now we are going to talk about the challenge for the just uh, future just so here you can we see that we have currently working on the 193 euv and ebm based just so what are the parameter which is going to decide ki okay these are the potential materials or potential just which is going to give the smallest transistor in the world so these are the basically lr and w should be less than 3 nanometer which is also the higher side we are talking about the long back uh, older uh, requirement uh, expectations then uh, this uh, sensitivity should be higher should so should be 10 millijoule per centimeter square and uh, at least uh, 40 nanometer half pitch which is also higher in that time uh, very older uh, projections so these are the things which is uh, because if you are going to talk about uh, Higher sensitivity. So higher sensitivity means that that is going to give you a faster uh, fab out your chip because that is immediately going to be pattern your uh, transistors. 
and then it is easily going to come out with the lower uh, sensitivity then it is going to take a more time to be fab out or chip important factor which is responsible for all these uh, behavior is the photo uh, acid diffusion which is more problematic in terms of uh, chemical impact just pack folding so that is another photo acid generation which is going to generate during the exposure or in other processes in homis in homogeneous distribution of the just component uh, in your uh, systems size of the resin molecules compositional control of the resin in the various uh, molecules so this is basically uh, this triangle which is a trade off between your resist uh, parameter sensitivity ldr and resolutions so we are lo looking for something which is going to be uh, because you it is not possible straight forward uh, the control of the, all of them in one uh, resist but we have to be compromise one of the parameter then we are going to get the advantage but we are looking these are the basic standards the sensitivity as i told you in the previous slide should be less than the 10 millijoule per centimeter square resolution should be below 16 nanometer below 10 nanometer that is the these days requirement lr should be 1.5 nanometer which is as per the international community uh, semiconductor community agreement so here you can be see that uh, this uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, uv we are looking for the 10 millijoule which is uh, very required a very high uh, fast resist where in the case of the dub it is 100 millijoule so which is uh, completely differ so to meet these expectation we need a really new type of the chemistry or new type of the uh, system technology which is going to be uh, going to be proved later towards the combination with your light uv light and that is going to pack on the smaller transistors so here you uh, that these are the motivations so what is actually happening in our conventional system if we are going to talk to about 22 22 nanotechnology node so we are going to expose our resist and then that is going to generate the acid and that acid going to be uh, segregate in the uh, your uh, rest of the patterns and that is going to increase the line as the press and that each point of this roughness is going to source of the going to be act as a source of the electric field and that is always desirable uh, sorry uh, completely undesirable uh, from our uh, technology so in this way we have to con uh, control the ac diffusion sensitivity post exposure instability line width roughness so these are the fundamental pair of qualifiers so if you are going to be qualify all of them then you are going to be consider your uh, technology your just technology is compatible with your uh, as per your expectation of the industry and then it is going to be uh, taken by the industry so therefore the we have tried to be uh, develop the just technology and uh, we have uh, thickness of the film is also around 30 30 nanometer uh, below that resolution is below 16 nanometers sensitivity 10 contrast should be higher at resistance because ultimately this resist pattern going to transfer to your uh, desirable film or silicon so that for that this actual resistance should be higher good adhesion low outgassing because these are the going to be treat inside a vacuum high end vacuum so if there should not be any uh, outgassing line edge roughness should be less uh, 1.5 so therefore uh, considering all these uh, fundamentals uh, constraints so we have a uh, dull resist technology it mundi and uh, the considering uh, the advancement of our knowledge to or in this direction so we have used the polymer to uh, directly sense to the radiations and uh, then we are using the sulfonium salt having a long beam found a sense to the uv light and due to that reason we fabricated uh, the Develop the um, material. So this is our journey from last couple of years. So we develop the set of the formulation at IIT Mandi. So that is below 15 nanometer technology node. So we use the uh, conventional uh, like uh, uh, polymers. That is organic based uh, approach. Then we have also used the some uh, uh, zinc oxide metal organic cluster based approach and. Uh, other metal copper because these are the sensitive the light 
so due to that reason we have incorporated with this organic systems and then will uh, because ultimately we have to be achieve the uh, objectives to achieve the uh, high speed then uh, in addition to that we have did the some work on the nanoparticle because nanoparticle as you know that is also sensitive to the light that is observing more light and uh, uh, then uh, tin based so we have a long uh, list of the expertise and uh, we have developed those formulation here and then tested for patterning below 10 nano technology node also so this is our journey so we have started it from the long back from the with SCL and then Intel and uh, nowadays we are working with other industry also Samsung recently so that is the C65 nanometer to the um, 13.5 nanometer UV. So this is basically 2014, we are 20 nanometer, then 15 nanometer, 17, 18, we have got the 10 nanometer. So recently we got the 8 nanometer features also in our developed systems. And uh, these are the UV results. So because ultimately this is going to be uh, accepted or this is going to be scaled up by the industry when this material should be sensitive to that. EUV, extreme ultraviolet lithography, 13.5 nanometer. So this material is developed by us. And then we have pattern uh, with the UV uh, at Lawrence Berkeley. And uh, these are the our results on top of that. Here is uh, basically the what facilities we have in IIT Mundi. So we have uh, this uh, all the square which is shown in this slides. So we have in in-house in facility to be developed uh, as well as uh, the formulation as well as the pattern that and uh, only UV is not in our control other than that is we have to be accessed from uh, collaborators outside uh, country. Rest of things, helium ion, EBL, uh, all are uh, with us and uh, therefore we are working this uh, highly demanding uh, sector which is uh, required for the establishment of any fab in our country or in futuristic uh, um, requirement on uh, as well as from other uh, uh, industry also. So all are the this uh, square which is shown here is available in our uh, institute. So now I am talking about this. Uh, what is our uh, innovation in our work? So we, as I told you, we have uh, UV sensitive. Uh, this sulfonium group is there. Then we have a digital inhibitor is also incorporated there. Then because of this uh, light, it is a solubility, solubility and switching will take place. So then this become the hydrophilic to hydrophobic. And uh, due to that reason, this uh, developer also, this developer formulation is a water, which is uh, much user friendly as compared to the conventional developer. So this is basically our formulations and uh, multiple formulation. So one of them is this. So this is the way how we work. So we'll uh, synthesize the material in IIT Monday. Then we'll do the some uh, chem uh, characterizations like NMR, GPC, thin film formations. Then we'll do the EBL or HIBL for patterning, prototyping. And uh, after that, we'll uh, do the data analysis and uh, expose the sample UV to the uh, Lawrence Berkeley or IMEC for uh, yeah, that is doing regularly based. And uh, sometimes we'll send it to the uh, PSI also. That is the things are apparently go for to be because those facilities not with us, but uh, prototyping facilities with us. So we'll do the prototyping of the this uh, most potential uh, systems. So how we'll do that? So here you can be see that we are depositing the protogist on the silicon, and then uh, once this for the inform films, we are testing here with the. Uh, light and uh, expose with the light uh, do the EBL also and uh, then we are checking his pattern formations and these are standard process for the establishment of any technology so these are the very pretty old results around uh, 2014 we did here so that time we got uh, 100 nanometer 15 nanometer even 20 nanometer also uh, like a pad then uh, this is our journey so we got the good sensitivity of this dual formation which is like a polymergist for us in the long back. And uh, that time we got this uh, 60 nanometer lines uh, with the LYS also. And we have uh, did us some more modification in our formulations and uh, submitted our sample for, these are the basically UV exposure results. 
and uh, here you can be see that we using the HDMS as the under layers because uh, that is a standard practice from industry to go for the adhesion promoter. Then uh, we deposited these uh, thin films of 14 nanometer there and then exposed in the uh, LBNL. And we got this UV result on our uh, gist. So that is the 20 nanometer, 25 nanometer, 30 nanometers bell pattern. These are also uh, older one that is not that much new. So, but these are there. Similar exercise we'll do and we got the 20 nanometer that time and uh, dose is a little bit higher in this case. Uh, but uh, therefore it is going to consider as a slow gist, not fast gist because dose is uh, 100 plus but we are looking for the smaller. So recently we did the, some exposure and we are getting the lowest dose uh, in our uh, formulations. This is similar exercise of the various uh, patterns which is used by the our transistor fabrications and uh, you can be see that we have uh, down to 15 nanometers uh, bell dwarf patterns which is uh, uh, developed in our developed, uh, formulations at IIT Mandi. So similar exercise for the 15 nanometers, 16 nanometers, 11 nanometer also we got and uh, 25 nanometer is one is to one is also there. So those are the things which is uh, we have done in our in-house. So here you can be see that this LER and WR. So LER is basically between 1.5 uh, to uh, 3.5. So that is uh, basically exposure dose. And uh, LWR is also 2.5 to the 4.4 or 4.3. So with the exposure dose, so it is uh, shown with the increasing the dose, this LDR and LWR increasing, and uh, that is uh, expected basically. So it means it looks like it is going to degrade your system. And uh, these are the, because in our transistor in the chip, we have a lot of different types of circuits. So we are some, uh, uh, elbows or some um, complex circuits. These are known the complex circuits and you can see here. So those well developed in our developed for formulations. So these are not going to use for the DRAM fabrication, but they are going to use the lot of other modules are there. So for that, these are the highly important and uh, you can we see that is a bell developed and well established in our developed formulation. So these are the basically complex patterns and uh, which is uh, very well developed uh, because these are required because without this you can't fabricate your complete chip. So therefore these are also well developed in our system. So this is another uh, system we have designed and uh, developed here in IIT and uh, then patterns and we got the uh, LDR and WR also within the control. So this uh, one is a homopolymer and the copolymer and uh, LDR and WR is also lesser than that uh, within the, as per the expectation of ITRS. So this is basically complete study. So here you can be see that 14 nanometer, 35 nanometer, 25 nanometer, 12 by 2 S are there. And uh, these are the bell developed and uh, LDR and WR is also within the budget, which is as per the expectation of uh, uh, international technology, similar to technology roadmap. Then we did the, some uh, surface mass morphology analysis with the FM and here it's also clearly visible that we are getting the line patterns and uh, line patterns are well uh, developed. So this is its uh, LDR and WR calculations. So here you can we see that this LDR 35, 30, 35, 20 nanometers are basically uh, as per the expectations of uh, our technology and uh, therefore this formulation is highly uh, meeting the expectation of the industry. And uh, as I told you, okay, this is uh, this uh, final qualification or qualifying this for the industry use. It should be also measure its uh, self life as well as its uh, uh, outgassing okay, because when you are going to use in the fab line, so how much uh, outgassing will take place from there and uh, here you can be see that we did the XPS and uh, we found that there is uh, some and then from this we also got the mechanism when we are going to expose with the uh, this uh, 
uv so how your material going to behave inside that so here you can be see that what is happening in the sulfonium group is how it is going to be joined or how it is going to be uh, these information are so important for uh, uh, realization or for the use of the industry uh, for your system so another parameter that is more important about the h resistance so which is uh, because ultimately this going to be transferred to your silicon so here you can be see that uh, we have uh, this h uh, h resistance measurement and we found ki our uh, mapdst homopolymer system which is i shown uh, couple of results uv result also there so that is uh, 7.2 is to 1 and uh, copolymer is 8.3 is to 1 so that is uh, give the good sensitivity where is the in commercial available says kind of the resist is basically 3.3.1 .3 is to 1 and 7.3.7 is to 1 so in this it is clearly uh, visible that this uh, formulation is a uh, worth to be for next generation transistor fabrication so this is a recent work we are doing and uh, we change it with the some uh, organic systems and um, uh, metal organic clusters because metal is going to be uh, harvest more photons and those photons is going to be used for the patterning purpose and uh, here you can be see that we are able to get the 18 nanometer 12 nanometer 10 nanometer 9 nanometer so these are the basically 2021 uh, our work and uh, so that is uh, Uh, our metal waste and dose is also pretty good it is uh, there so here you can be see that we are able to pattern the 15 nanometer 14 nanometer 12 nanometer 10 nanometer and 18 nanometer uh, in our uh, dull formulations and this is below as i talked about the below 10 nanometers this is basically uh, below 7 nanotechnology node for this uh, system the conclusion of uh, my talk is like that we are able to be dull bell dull for the 20 nanometers or even recently with the this uh, uh, organic inorganic hybrid approach we are able to develop the uh, able to pad, develop the formulation which is capable to patterns below uh, 10 nanometer also and it is uh, have the potential to work further so these are the basically uh, uh, my students who is uh, some of them graduated and uh, funding and collaborators because this is a multi uh, uh, institutional work because this high end work so it is uh, many people are involved from the various organization for this so this is uh, before closing my talk this is one uh, uh, small recap of this technology Doctor Stinder, is the sound is on? Hello. Uh, sound is not coming, sir. Video, audio. In my the sound is there. Uh, I don't know why it is. Uh, can you, uh, you know, 
increase the volume level sir
So sorry, actually there is some problem in the in between this video, some the noise. So yeah, some sound problems are there, some noise are there. So, uh, yeah, so thank you for your attention. I am looking for your questions. Participants can uh, write their question in Q and A section. Sir, you can uh, find questions in Q and A section. Okay. Did you find it, sir? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so there is a Mr. Vishwanath. So there is a question from him. Ke, when the device size is reduced, and the trophy term mm -hmm. getting increased. Yeah, so question is ke, when we are going to be reduce the feature size, then anisotropy term getting the increase. So this anisotropy is basically related to the directionality and uh, it is going to be considered in the design rule because when we are going to be design our mask or before layout, so that time we are considering all the these glitches uh, uh, for uh, in our transistors in final patterning and uh, because uh, once this mask is that uh, we are assumed ki all these uh, factors which is responsible for uh, this uh, final fab out transistors uh, we have well considered in our design Yeah, so uh, yes, uh, Mr. Vishwanath, another is like a surface roughness, as you asked. So surface roughness is also a very, very important parameter. There's no doubt about that. So in principle, we are taking care uh, surface roughness as minimum as possible. And uh, therefore, we are trying to be these days trying to be used automations. So surface roughness definitely play the role because all the electrical parameters uh, our device engineering is related to the, we can be spell it out like uh, interface engineering. So interface should be very, very high quality, very smooth and roughness should be very, very less. Otherwise all the charge will be trapped there. So that is the uh, uh, one of the, uh, yeah, that should be minimum. And it is uh, generally keep in the minimum. So those factor is basically process parameter. We are trying to be taken care that bell, uh, advanced and well uh, optimize that. Yeah, so question is if uh, pattern size is larger than the, uh, how we can be overcome. So actually man, these days we are doing uh, to be control that your point is a little bit uh, more, uh, more interesting actually how we are doing it if it is uh, out of control so it is more uh, nowadays we are doing uh, etching also so therefore these days we are using uh, this uh, litho actually le le type that is known the litho etch process so here we are doing the lithography as you asked okay, okay if the roughness is more than how we are going to control that so we are using in parallelly to be sequentially once uh, we do the lithography then next step we are using the etching and in that combination, we are controlling that. So this LDL is uh, much popular in case of the 
uh, if it is going to be LDR is below, well, yeah, it is around 1.5 or 1.8, or you can be take it as a standard is a below 2 nanometer. It is okay for the 20 nanometer transistor. But if it is a 4 or 5, then it is not a acceptable. To make it to, to below 2 nanometer, we are doing the etching also parallelly, which is also very critical etching because this is a very fine structure and uh, we have to be very carefully accurate should be there but it is uh, nowadays as i told you in my one of my slide early early so early mother yeah. actually to watch that recipe will going to work yeah so this is uh mr Anil, yeah analogy so this basically self life is uh much higher for this mapdst because that is our very old work and uh, it is still working and we are using it after one year or uh, just stored in the some vials because this will come in the solid so it is not uh, going to be degraded after that whenever we require we are going to be dissolve it in solution forum it is uh, uh, around uh, six months four to five months it is working well after that we never tested it because this is uh, like but in solid form we are keeping it from years sometimes Yeah, so this question is related to the can we use this uh, our conventional as uh, this as one eight uh, just in the immersion lithography? Yeah, that is uh, can be used. Okay, because immersion lithography is just like a, that is a one ninety three wave wave length is one ninety three, so it is compatible with this commercial stuff because that is not that much far away between the relation between your wave length and uh, your uh, uh regist okay eb regist or that is much closer to that but if you are going to talk to about the with that that wavelength 190 well of this commercial one with the uv that is little bit not that much compatible because uv is much much far away uv is we are talking about 13.5 nanometer so that is not that much uh so sir i have to be just answer like this one i have to reply on this uh, uh, text box no this is okay sir this is okay 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 thank you sir so yeah so this uh, basically this uh, not that much far away so it can be it can be used for the uh, i'm not going to be very straight for it is going to be it's going to be yeah it is going to so it is not going to be work it may be work for that because uh, 193 is not that much far away from this uh, your commercially available stuff agent and uh, that can be work and because this uh, uh, in a source is 193 which is not true for the uv because uv is a source is a 13.5 nanometer and your light incident uh, reaching at a vapor that is also in the same range here is a source is 13 193 nanometer and reaching uh, that uh, wavelength reaching in your wafer so that is going to reduce by the some resolution enhancement technique any means that is instrumentation and optics combination advanced instrumentation and optics combination to be bend your light towards the normal and then in the final stage we are using the liquid so that is when the light is going to be reached from the rare to denser medium so then it is again going to be make up more closer to the uh, normal and then it is going to give the smaller transistor so it is a uh, uh, feasible it is not that much um, completely out of the line to do this yes yeah, sir so i think these are the question i if i left so can be asked no problem yeah uh, to add on to this light source system for 193 on Dr. Stender's uh, comment, and uh, in line with that, 193 in, uh, light source particularly is used in dry as well as wet processing, which is called as immersion processing, which can take up to the technology node up to a range of uh, uh, 40 nanometer or so. If you would like to go for further, further nanoscale devices, a technology node the 7 nanometer, 5 nanometer, the light source has to be changed. So 193 immersion then changed into 13.5 as Dr. Sander was mentioning there. 
so that is 13.5 with the immersion that and there's a quadruple exposure technique has been used which is you know in order to meet the critical geometries required for that uh, geometries at that technology node on the question of uh, this uh, design aspect which was stated by vishwanath when the device size is reduced anisotropy in getting increased how it is accounted in the design during the design process when you are you know, using any technology files you have the pdks as well as the technology files there's a drc check while you are doing the floor plan after floor plan itself you can do the drc checks drc checks will take care about the iso and dense regions where you have to keep about the edge process in line with the requirement of the technology so those uh, uh, characteristic will uh, can be accounted in terms of you know separating the floor planning in iso and dense lines so that the same anisotropicity can be achieved at a particular technology node or for a particular layer so thank you thank you thank you dr manish thank you explaining more back to the audience thank you daksha we is a very enlightenment uh, and enlightening the you know uh, uh, research work which you have shared i really appreciate iit mandi sir for you know taking this up to a new stage of the you know litho uh, developing the photoresist for advanced uh, lithography duv as euv processing let me congratulate you and your team sir this is the real indigenization work which you have done and demonstrated here in india i would salute you sir thank for you. that thank you sir <laughs> thank you sir thanks 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 for your appreciation thank you very much thank you thank you very much uh, dr satender for uh, accepting our uh, invitation to share your uh, recent work on photo regist evm regist etc so uh, i hope uh, participants will uh, get benefit out of it and uh, they will also start using uh, this next generation uh, regist technology for their device fabrication etc i hope uh, i think uh, this has also been tried at uh, scl mohali right sir yes sir yes sir duv regist was developed by iit mandi and first time indigenization was done for this regist and this has been developed for deep uv lithography at 248 nanometer which has been successfully demonstrated for the feature and it is at par with the international you know supplier of this same kind of a photoresist which is a proprietary item that's why i really appreciate and i am very much sure that uv regist also would come under this category definitely as the results are showing very encouraging right so right yes. so uh, thank you thank you very much for uh, sparing your time to this session so uh, participants we will meet tomorrow again at uh, 10 o'clock so please join uh, quarter